Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, the great prophet of Allah once asked the angel of death that you have taken the souls of millions of people. Has there ever been a time while taking the souls of these people? Have you ever felt remorse for anyone? Have you ever felt pity on anyone? So the angel of death says, yes, I remember one time that a woman, a pregnant woman was traveling by a ship and while she was giving birth at that time Allah ordered me that you have to take her soul so when I went to take her soul I took out her soul she gave birth to this beautiful baby boy and I extracted her soul at that time after she delivered this boy, baby boy and I asked Allah that oh Allah what about this boy the ship is now sinking. The ship began to sink because of the weather. It's stormy night. The ship is sinking. She's given birth to this beautiful baby boy. Oh Allah, I've taken the soul of the mother. What do you want me to do with this boy? Allah says that take a plank from the wreckage, put him on there safely, and then I will look after him. So the angel of death wondered to himself. He says to Ibrahim wasalam, that I kept wondering. That how is this baby going to survive? But look at Allah. Look at the nizam, the system of Allah. That when he saves someone, look how he saves them. This baby is on this plank. And it's a stormy night. He's being washed away. And Alhamdulillah, when he comes to the shore, there are people waiting there. And people actually rescue this baby boy. This baby becomes, after a while, he becomes a young boy. Then he becomes a teenager. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala endows him with power. Allah gives him knowledge. Allah even gives him a kingdom. He becomes a king. And he is known by the name of Shaddad. But this kingdom and this power got to his head. He became a disobedient of Allah. He violated the commandments of Allah. To such an extent that he claimed that I am God. So one day he said to his people that worship me, do sajda in front of me, I am God, I am Allah. So they said to him, but Shaddad, look, you're a king, we respect you, we honor you, we cherish you, but that's about it. You know, God, you're going out of line here. So he says, well, what's the difference between me and God? They said to him, Shaddad, look, Allah is the being who gives life and death. Allah is the one who has created Jannah and Jahannam. So Shaddad says, so what? Life and death? I'll show you, I give life, I give death as well. So he told his gods that go and bring a group of people. You know, innocent people. People from the community. And this group of people are both before Shaddad. And then he makes two groups out of them. He says to his gods, kill the first group. So the first group goes, uh, the gods go and kill the first group. And then he says to the people, look, I give death. Then he says to his God that go and kill the second group. So when the gods go to the second group and they are just about to kill them, Shaddha says stop. Shaddha says to the people, look, I give life. Then they say to him, look Shaddha, Allah has made a Jannah and Jahannam. Where is your Jannah and Jahannam? So this is the time that Shaddha started to build a Jannah on this earth. He gathered the best architects in the world at the time, the best builders at the time, the most expensive bricks, the most expensive equipment he could get his hands off, this man got it. And it took years, it took years. And these architects, these builders actually made something resembling a Jannah. They made such a beautiful garden, so many fruits in this garden, beautiful women, Trees, Allahu Akbar, such beautiful trees they made that the flowers, when it, the wind would blow, from the flowers, the smell, the fragrance of uh, uh, musk and umber would emanate from these flowers. Such a beautiful Jannah. He made a Jannah on earth. Now come the day of the opening ceremony. Shaddad is the special guest. It's his Jannah. He's eager to see his Jannah and show the people that, look, I have made a Jannah as well. 
and he was challenging Allah. So he gets onto his horse. He is going to this Jannah on this opening ceremony. When he got to his Jannah and when he was just about to come off his horse, he put one step off his horse and one step he took inside his Jannah. At that time, the angel of death was there waiting for him. One step inside, one step outside. The, he asks him, who are you? He says, I am the angel of death. And I have been ordered by Allah to take out your soul at this time, right now, at this minute. And the angel of death extracts his soul, takes his soul out. And then later Allah informed the angel of death. That, oh angel of death, this is that same very boy who you saved. You took out his mother's soul, but you saved him. This is that same boy whose soul you have taken out today. My brother's death is in Allah's hands. Only Allah knows when you're going to die.